Hey guys, Dantix here, bringing you another Cyberpunk 2077 guide. Today, running through all the legendary and iconic cyberware you can buy in the game, where to get them, their attribute requirements, how much you need to save, and if they're worth your time. Starting at the Nomad Camp Ripper Dock, which is here. You get access to this location naturally during the storyline. In the circulatory system, there is Blood Pump. It's assigned to your quick slot and when you activate it, it instantly restores 90% of your max health on a long cooldown. The main thing is that it's instant, as health consumables aren't, though I doubt you'll ever run out of them. You need a high 15 body to even equip this and it costs 35,000 eddies, not something I'd be in a rush to get. Next is the Biomonitor. This one instantly restores your health to 100% when your health drops to 15% or lower on a 2 minute cooldown. This one requires 18 in body and costs 42,000 eddies. Now this one, if you have high body, is definitely a cyberware you should consider as it basically gives you a second life without using a quick slot. Bioconductor is next and it reduces all your cyberware's cooldowns by 30%. Yes, that includes both the Biomonitor and the Blood Pump, as well as the high-end operating systems we'll be seeing soon. If you have 18 in body, there really isn't a reason not to pick this up for a low 14,000 eddies. Moving over to the Rancho Coronado Ripper, which is located here. Also within the circulatory system, we have the Micro Generator. When your health drops to 15%, you release an electric shock that deals damage equal to 50% the target enemy's max health and applies the shock status. I don't need to explain how powerful that is as any percentage based damage means big enemies will be very unhappy with this. Shock also stuns enemies so if they're close, they'll be giving you some room to breathe. For only 7000 eddies, if you have 16 technical, there'd be no reason not to pick this up. Next is the Pacifica Ripper, located here. Since this is the turf of the Voodoo Boys, you can expect a net running focus. First, in the frontal cortex, we have the X Disc. It increases your Cyberdex max RAM by 5. That's the cost of an expensive demon, so you can't complain about that. It takes 18 intelligence to equip and costs 28,000 eddies. If you're a net running build, this is a no brainer unintended. Right next to it is the Visual Cortex support. Interestingly enough, high intelligence cyberware seems to support crit chance and damage. If you're an offensive focused quick hacker, more damage is definitely appreciated. At 45% extra crit, you're laughing. It takes 16 intelligence and costs 21,000 eddies. Next is the Camillo RAM Manager. When your Cyberdex RAM reaches 2 or less, you instantly restore 30% of it. This obviously works well together with X Disk as it increases your base RAM amount. So if you have a total of 10, you'll free 3 RAM when you've reached 2 RAM or less. Very handy in sticky situations. You need 16 intelligence to equip it and it costs 14,000 eddies. Then in operating system, we have the Stevenson Tech Mark IV Legendary Cyberdeck. It has a base of 10 RAM, 8 buffer size, and 6 slots. Your cooldowns are reduced by a huge 45%, combat hacks duration increased by 50%, and upload time reduced by 25%. This is a solid cyber deck for an offensive focused netrunner. You need 35,000 eddies and a very high street cred level. Then we have the Fuyu Sui Tinker Mark IV. It has a lower 8 RAM and 7 buffer size, but also has 6 slots. It increases your RAM recovery rate by 9 units a minute or roughly 1 every 6.6 .6 seconds. It increases combat quick hack durations by 50% and increases quick hack spread distance by 40%. If you're using a lot of spreading combat quick hacks, the drop in RAM size might be worth the higher recovery rate. This cyberdeck costs more as well at 43,750 eddies and a very high street cred level. Moving over to the Arroyo Ripper Dock which is located here. Within the nervous system slots, we have Neo Fiber. It flat increases evasion by 15%, no bells and whistles. If you have 18 reflex and 7,000 euro dollars, pick this up as it's a, another no brainer worth every eddy. Next is the Kereznikov, which slows down time by a huge 90% for 3.5 seconds when you block, aim, or attack during a slide or a dodge. With a low 5 second cooldown, you're basically always in bullet time with this cyberware if you play it well. 
it costs 35,000 eddies and requires 18 in reflex, so if you've invested that far, pick it up. Now we see the first powerful operating system for a high body stat. This one is called the Zetatec Berserk Mark IV. By pressing E, you don't need to hold it, you go into Berserk state that boosts your output and how much damage you can take. You also restore health on kills and can do a superhero landing when falling from heights, which damages enemies, so it can also be used to safely jump off buildings. It has a 5 second duration and a low 10 second cooldown. By taking this slot, you give up the ability to quick hack as you need the cyber deck for that. You are required to have 16 body and 35,000 eddies for this one, but I highly recommend picking up a Berserk Legendary as soon as you have the required attribute if you're focusing on body. Because this one has a low cooldown, any mods that reduce the cooldown or increase the duration will make you feel like you can always put Berserk on. Next, we have the Wellsprings Ripper Dock located here. Within the circulatory system, we have the Sink Lungs. It simply increases your stamina by 25%. If you use a lot of stamina, especially in melee builds, dropping 7,000 eddies won't break the bank. You're required to have 16 body though. With the same amount of body, you can get a second heart. This restores your health to 100% when your health drops to zero, basically giving you a second life just like the Bio Monitor. So with them both equipped, plus the Bioconductor which reduces their cooldowns, it would be very unlikely that you'll ever actually die again. It costs 42,000 eddies, so the grand total for all three in the circulatory system would be 91,000 eddies. Considering that you'd need a high body stat, you'd naturally have high health as well. Moving over to the operating system slot, we have the iconic legendary Militech Falcon Sandivistan Mark V. I'm just going to call these Sandy Vision. All of the different types of Sandy Vision should be considered if you have a reflex focus. You should be 100% getting on these as a priority as they add so much to your character even though you sacrifice the ability to quick hack. This version slows down time by 30% on an 18 second duration and a 60 second cooldown. It also gives 20% extra crit chance and 35% extra crit damage. It's for those who want to make an impact with one use, as a minute cooldown is longer than most others. It requires 20 reflex and 43,750 eddies. Then we have a cyber deck, the Netwatch Net Driver Mark V. It has the highest RAM yet at 11, 8 buffer size and 6 slots. It makes it so offensive quick hacks can be uploaded to three targets of the group together within six meters, essentially giving your quick hack splash. Also increases your quick hack damage by 30%, increases the RAM recovery rate by nine a minute, and increases the spread distance by 60%. It's basically the best of the Stevenson and the Tinkerer. I don't see why you wouldn't choose this one over them. You'll need 43,750 eddies and 49 level street cred. Note that in the arm slot, this Reaper has the legendary versions of the Monowire, Mantis Blades, Gorilla Arms, and Projectile Launch Systems. Increasing the quality increases the mod slots, but they cost a huge 100,450 eddies. You can find most of these in the world, so it would be smarter avoiding buying it, simply getting the base versions until then. If you don't use melee or aren't into sacrificing your grenade slot, just use the Gorilla Arms as it also lets you open doors easier and rip out turrets of their holders as well as helping you during the fist fight side quests. Moving over to the Charter Hills Ripper Dock located here. In the operating system slot we have an iconic Berserk, the Militech Berserk Mark V. This one gives a much bigger boost to stats than the last and lasts for 10 seconds with a 60 second cooldown. It also increases health gain and max stamina while active. It requires 18 body and 43,750 eddies. This is the berserk for you if you prefer to make more of an impact when you activate it. Then we have the Teletronic Rippler Mark IV Cyberdeck. It has a base of 10 RAM, 8 buffer size, and 6 slots. It makes it so ultimate quick hacks can spread once, reduces your ultimate quick hack RAM cost by 3, reduces quick hack upload time by 75%, and cooldown by 45%. This deck is for those who focus on using the most advanced and powerful quick hacks 
your ultimates. They generally cost a ton of RAM, so make sure to also pick up the X disc from the Pacifica Ripper. This cyberdeck also costs 43,750 eddies and requires a very high street credit level. Then finally, we have some legendaries in the skeleton slots. First is the Synaptic Signal Optimizer. It requires a body stat of 20 and 28,000 eddies, but in return, it gives you a huge 60% more health. If you combine this with the second heart package, well, I don't know how you'll ever die. You just need a lot of investment. If you're a melee champion, getting bionic lungs, which increases your stamina by a huge 60%, might be the way to go. It requires 18 body and a low 7,000 eddies, so it's easy to pick up and forget. Moving on to the downtown Ripper Dock, located here. In the popular circulatory system slot, we have bioplastic blood vessels. It requires 14 body and 14,000 eddies. It increases health regeneration outside of combat by 50 health per second. Honestly, I find this one fairly basic, considering body attribute focused characters have so many options for these slots. I recommend giving this one a miss as regenerating is easy as using a consumable, which you always have a ton of. Finally, heading over to the immune system, we have shock and awe. After taking damage, there's a 10% chance you release a large electro shock that deals damage to enemies. If you have 15 cool, drop that low 7,000 eddies and don't ask questions. It's in a sparsely populated slot and provides you with some breathing room for a low cost. In the operating system slot, we have another Sandy Vision. This one is the Warp Dancer Iconic Legendary. It only slows time by 10%, which is the lowest, for only 8 seconds on a 30 second cooldown, but that's not what it's for. It also increases your crit chance by 10% and your damage by 15%. However, it boosts your crit damage by a huge 50%. Even though this is a massive boost to damage, the standard Sandy Vision you get from Vic, which you can see I have equipped, I find much better as an increased duration is more valuable to me. Then we have the Arasaka Mark IV Cyberdeck. 10 RAM, 8 buffer, 6 slots, which is the standard. This one though reduces covert quick hacks by 2. It also resets the duration of ping when quick hacking a target already pinged. Finally, it increases combat quick hack durations by 40%. Look, this is the cyber deck you use if you're playing very stealthily focused with a higher cool stat. Otherwise, there are better cyber decks out there for combat. It costs 35,000 eddies, which is cheaper than most, but it costs 50 street cred. Just know this ripper also has the legendary arm cyberwares as well. Next, we have the first Japantown Ripper, Fingers, located here. You'll naturally visit him during the story. In the immune system slot, we have the Pain Eater. With 16 cool, you reduce all incoming damage by 10%. All. If you have 16 cool and 28,000 eddies, this is another might as well get piece of tech. The Kata Resist, though, requires 15 cool and 14,000 eddies. Unless you're playing on very hard or even hard, resistances don't matter as you can heal through most elemental damage, though if you're on very hard, this will definitely help. Next, we have another Sandy Vision, the Quaint. This one has a lower total duration, but a much lower cooldown. With the right mods, you could have the bullet time effect up more often than you don't. I find this one superior to the one from Vic, as having the effect up more seems more valuable than an extra 4 second duration. It costs 35,000 eddies and takes 18 in reflex. Note that I haven't seen any legendary leg modifications yet, so decide between having a higher jump, a double jump, a hovering ability, or better sneak. Moving on, we have the second Japantown Ripper Dock, located here. In the frontal cortex, we have the Olympic System Enhancement. Like I mentioned before, intelligence gets crit chance and damage with cyberware, and this one gives a huge 25% increase to crit chance for 15 intelligence and 21,000 eddies. If you're an offensive character, there's no reason not to get this unless space is tight. Speaking of tight space, if you have high reflex, you'll be racking your brain what to put in the nervous system. We already saw the Kresnikov and the Neofiber, now check out the Synaptic Accelerator. It slows time by 50% for 4 seconds when you're detected. 
it costs 35,000 eddies and 18 reflex. Overall, I prefer the Kereznikov if I needed to choose to this as the Kereznikov is a 90% slow and can be applied very often. Then we have the Reflex Tuner, which slows time by 80% when your health drops to 25%. This one will save your life, giving you time to speed past enemies before they can react while you heal. For 17,500 eddies, you might as well combine this with the Kereznikov or even the Neo Fiber for a more tankier reflex build with our 15% evasion. In the operating systems, we have another Berserk, the Biodyne Mark IV. This one requires 16 body and 35,000 eddies. It has a low duration of 5 seconds and a high cooldown of 35 seconds, but gives you large buffs. The big boon though is that it also increases range attack damage by 20%, which the others don't do. So if you're focusing on shotguns or machine guns in the Annihilation skill tree, this is the Berserk for you. Next, we head over to the Little China Ripper Dock, which is located here. Our good friend Victor. Here's when you can get the Sandy Vision I've been using to compare to the others for the same price and requirements, as well as the epic quality Kuroshi Eye Implant. He also sells in the hand slot, the legendary Smart Link for 21,000 eddies. It does the basic Smart Link thing of letting you target your smart weapons effectively, but also increases their chance to hit by 15 and increases crit damage by 25%. If you're using smart weapons like the Skippy, which you can find here, I recommend picking this cyberware up. Then we have the first Kabuki Ripper Dock located here. In the bone slot, we have Micro Rotors, which increases your attack speed by 25%. If you have 18 Reflex and 14,000 Eddies, as well as a melee focus, this one will definitely help you out. Combined with the stamina cyberwares you get, you'll be unstoppable. In the hand slot, we have the legendary Ballistic Compressor. The difference between this and the rare version is simply that it increases the number of times bullets will ricochet by two. I never found bullet ricochet that useful. In fact, more often than not, it would stray and kill a civilian, getting the cops on me mid-fight. It costs 21,000 eddies, and I'd avoid this unless you really like power weapons. Moving over to the second Kabuki Ripper Dock, located here. Finally, we get some integumentary system cyberwares, the subdermal armor, which increases your armor by a massive 200 for 14,000 eddies. Pick this up if you want to be a tank. Moving over to the operating system, we have the iconic legendary Zeta Tech Berserk Mark V. This one seems to increase your stats by the most for a 10 second duration on a 30 second cooldown. It restores health when you defeat enemies. For 18 body and 43,750 eddies, this is one of the best berserks out there, so seriously consider it. Then we have the Raven Micro Cyber Mark IV Cyberdeck. It has the standard 10, 8, 6, but increases the time it takes for an enemy netrunner to hack you by 100%. It increases the spread distance by 60% and RAM recovery rate by a lower 6 per minute. This one definitely seems more defensive than the others, but if you're not having trouble with enemy netrunners, I feel a good offense is the best defense. It costs 35,000 eddies and, like the others, requires a high street cred level. The third Ripper in Kabuki is next and is located here. In the circulatory system, we have the feedback circuit. For 15 technical and 21,000 eddies, you can instantly restore 10% of your health after you discharge a fully charged weapon. If you like tech weapons, this will keep you tip top. And there really isn't anything much better for a high technical in this slot. For 18 body and 28,000 eddies, you can pick up the adrenaline booster. It instantly restores 50 stamina when you defeat an enemy. Once again, great for melee builds and with the percentage increases you get from other cyberware, you'll be smashing and slashing forever. The last ripper we have is in Northside, located here. In the frontal cortex, we have Heal on Kill, which does what it says out of the box. Heals you for 10% after defeating an enemy. If you have 18 reflexes and 35,000 eddies, this will keep you preem. It's a great piece of tech and shouldn't be overlooked. The mechatronic core gives you a huge 50% increase to damage when attacking drones, mechs, and robots, though I don't find them very common at all. 
You'll need 16 technical ability and 21,000 eddies. If you have the spare cash, why not? And that's it. What cyberware are you going to pick up according to this video? Let me know below. If you liked it, leave a comment, leave a like and subscribe. You know what to do. Help me get to that 200k. If you like cyberpunk and RPG content, you're already in the right place. Ciao friend.